Hey guys, I am going to answer some user questions. Every now and then I get some questions. Um, I try to answer them in text, but it's not really that explanatory. So I'm going to attempt to answer some questions. But I turn my computer on and lo and behold, 5.1 has finally been released. And uh, they're showing you all of the latest 5.1, 2.90 features like auto grading, size editing for kids, 2D pattern ruler, symmetric editing, with sewing, love it, unfold, um, and all that. There's lots and lots of new features here that they finally released. Of course, you know I'm going to give you a glitch alert. Glitch alert. Anyway, exporting OBJ, oh wait, oh, JPEG format added to the 3D snapshot. No more just PNG, you can now do JPEG, hey, hey. Okay, 3D sharing. Um, yes, I did take a look at that and I will be using that in one of my next tutorials. I think that's exciting. Um, lots of 2D updates for you pattern making people. Uh, let's see. Oh, snap to point when editing, 3D free sewing, nice. Button creation tools have been improved and add on, added on to. Pop-up window for overlapped graphics. So what's in your 3D window, no doubt. Um, avatars, okay. We're gonna talk about avatars in just a minute because Kelly uh, and Emma have heels, Mara has new hairstyles, and Thomas as well. I don't talk about the guys too much. I might do a whole video just with the guys. Um, on there uh, but yeah so we're gonna talk about shoes one of the questions from the users was how do I change the shoes how come they're all in sneakers guess what you're not the only one to say um, <laughs> how do I do these heels uh, the user goes thank you again for all of your helpful clothes videos when I load my avatar she is always wearing sneakers. How do I change her shoes so that she's wearing heels or no shoes? Well, we're going to look at that. Um, thank you to that. I don't want to say people's uh, usernames, but if you follow me, you know who you are. So this is the time that I say like and subscribe, guys. If you like the content and you like my uh, funny anecdotes, I could get a little mouth, a mouthy. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to download and then voila, we will be in there. But um, there's lots of data changes and there's lots of functionality that we will do many videos on. This one's gonna focus on avatars and it's gonna focus on the changes in the avatars. Um, and you'll see, all right? Let's download. And just like magic, movie magic of course we are in 5.1 uh, 2.90 one of my users wanted to know how to change the user interface to align your toolbars differently so in your settings in your user interface um, I mean user settings user interface you can change it you can uh, change it to the top you can change it to the bottom I like it on the side only because you can see more buttons some of them are hidden some of them you can slide down and slide around and um, they are movable. Some of them that have the little arrow on the corner, um, you know, if you move it, you can actually hide it from yourself, but why would you wanna do that? So it's kind of you creating your own workspace. It's you creating your own uh, environment to work within. Sometimes you don't need them. Um, you could actually tick them off. You can create your own toolbar version but the one that has the uh, arrow on the side that means you can change that tool so there are uh, varied selections when you click on that arrow everybody knows how to make a polygon and uh, I just felt like doing that I don't know why but anyway so this is what you can do within your 2d and 3d window so let's look at some of the other things if I go back to settings user settings user interface toolbar top bottom left right you can open up the whole uh, window depending on where you are if you're reading right to left left to right 
Uh, this is America, so we're uh, reading left to right. So I kind of like to have them, uh, you can have them totally out of your way between your 2D and 3D window. That's kind of exciting where you just focus on one side at a time uh, when you're looking at your two bars. But I like left and left, so I'm going to digress and keep it like that. But that's how you change your toolbars in your uh, visual settings. Okay, so let's check out these avatars. So I was very surprised when I opened it up because this is the this is added on to the new update and I will tell you what. Oh, there is, I think that's Emily and uh, Kelly or Emma and Kelly. No, wait a minute. Wait, Kelly. She's got shoes on. Does Emma have shoes on? Yes, Emma has shoes on. So they're no longer wearing sneakers. Yay! Everybody clap. Because we know that sneakers should be a selection, not a default. Heels should be a default or flats a default. But I don't know. Some people like the sneakers. I think a lot of people create a lot of different... Uh, types of garments so you you're now able to choose so how do you change her from from uh shoes to sneakers we're going to see that so now when i went back into the folder i noticed that there are wait a minute i see something else i might have to go back and check this out um different poses so now you can download her poses Okay, so I see a folder up there that says plus and one that says flat on the floor. So now there are all these different fit poses, arms forward. That is a classic fit pose to check your sleeve. Um, there's also a folder that says flat on the floor, which you can have poses in there um, when you apply sneakers. So we're going to see how we apply shoes and uh, change some shoes around from sneakers to shoes a little bit of a way but I am checking out all these different poses now I'm getting excited I'm so excited you know me and then I'm like um, her feet are doing something weird she's almost there though if you have the ability to move her skeleton you can probably fix this but this is definitely a glitch alert if you move her to her uh, this pose seven in heels and she just kind of doesn't put her feet her heels down to the ground I tried a couple of different variations to see if it was moving from one pose to another that was the problem but no it's that pose that's the problem so pose seven is kind of like uh okay do it do over and uh so I digress and I go back to a normal pose but we're going to look at some other avatars and we're going to check out to see like uh avatar that starts off with a sneaker how you can pose her uh to uh heels and then change her heels so something's happening with her feet i'm sorry emma girl something is happening your feet are not hitting the floor the only way you can fix that is to go in and adjust her skeleton and i'm not going to do that right now because i'm just testing out these poses i'm downloading i'm like thinking like 5.1 is on and popping this is so great but of course you know you're going to get an update she can sit down you could check check that the the rises and uh the tension on the thigh this would be a great pose for a nice fit map to make sure that you have adequate room in your garment for someone to sit down so this is fantastic this is what i was looking for and uh you know i will be using these things you'll see in the future videos pose seven is a problem so if you're going to go to pose seven you better make sure you adjust the skeleton accordingly anyway she's cute but i digress let's check somebody else out Go back to the girls. Did you know that the folder with the two dots is like a back folder? A lot of people don't know that. Back to the original folder before that one. So 
Now, these are the version 2 avatars, and these are the ones, I think, that only work with the measurements. So I'm like, hey, I can download Grace with shoes. Yay! So I could have a Grace with sneakers, and I could have a Grace with shoes, right? Wait, I have Mara, and wait, she's got sneakers on. And so what I realized, folks, is that I hadn't downloaded all of them. Anyway, so there's a version of each of the avatars with flats and with um, heels. So you can now work with the one that you're, you know, that's more tailored to your garment foot pose, uh, whatever foot pose you want your model to be in, either it be flat with the flat shoes or the sneakers or heels with the strappy heels or the platform shoes. And uh, once you go into these folders, once you download brand new, fresh download, you have to start downloading all these poses and everything. So now I picked the pose that said heels, the uh, regular uh, A pose with heels. And now she's got sneakers on. So now I can go into the folder and I can change her shoes to heels. But like I said, that was the old way of changing the shoes. The new way is to just pick the avatar with the foot poles already selected. So like I said, I only saw at this time that there was an avatar that was with sneakers. So I picked that one and knowing how to transition her into a the pose that has heels, then I selected it. So coming right back. So now these shoes are really cute. Um, I go into uh, try the heels on. Uh, I sped up a part uh, just a bit in case you guys are wondering. So now they have those same shoes, the beige shoes that match everybody's skin color miraculously. Uh, now they have black shoes. I did try just before this to change the color of the shoes. You cannot do that within the program yet. You used to be able to, but now you cannot edit the shoes separately. You may have to do a Photoshop uh, thing with the shoe texture. I tried to change the color, it did not work. So I will digress and keep going about the avatars. There's another module in here that says modular avatars. I have not figured out what that's for. I'm sure there's a tutorial uh, coming out or a uh, announcement coming out about what this is and why we have this, but I will check it out and I'll keep you posted. It may be for the size editing. It may be um, to create your own avatar. I think it might be to create your own avatar. So let's check that out a little bit later. Uh, but like I said, shoes, texture, I mean shoes uh, starting out in heels or starting out in flats, you now have the choice to pick your form before you start your um, garments. So I think that is a wonderful, wonderful uh, way to start off, start things off. Um, and then, you know, now there's another thing that I always wonder about is motion. The girls, uh, the new version two girls have no motion. Not yet. I have a feeling that eventually they will, but the version one avatars have uh, motion. So we're gonna take a look at the motion and uh, let's change out this avatar. Let's look at uh, Emma. Now, if you notice, Emma has a little bit more roundness to her. She has a little bit more shapeliness. And I think that it is because she can be edited. So, I plug in a transition and I notice on the left on the right hand side of the screen that her feet fall below the floor line. So I'm just double yes, they do fall below the floor line. And I think that's just something that needs to be updated and fixed. Uh yes. So if you want to just go ahead and watch her walk on uh you can just go into your display environment and just tick off the uh show 3d grid and that little patch of grid on the floor will disappear and 
you can record her walking uh, like this. So I'm just going to, I mean, she has no clothing to simulate, so she'll just practice her walk and I'll, I'll click on a motion and just click on any one and then let her do that one. Motion number three with hands on hips. She's got these red knees that just drive me nuts. Like whose knees are like that? There's gonna be a video about how to change the uh, outer texture of the uh, avatars. A little Photoshop, never hurt anybody. If you have Photoshop, if not, there are other programs that you'll be able to uh, use to change the skin of the avatars. So that's motion, but only Emma and Kelly have motion right now. Like I said, they're working on it, and I'm sure that they will give us what we so desire. Clo3D is always making changes. That's why I love the program so much, because they listen to the users. Um, got a great user community called Clolab, Clo 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 or Collab. <laughs> I'm a, I, I, I use it all the time and I can never say it. I feel like saying Clolab, but it's Colab. But uh, that's when you can see people's work and uh, all types of stuff. And it's a, a great community of people. So right now, I kind of forgot what I was looking for. Oh, I was looking for a 3D background. And then I just said, okay, forget about it. This video will be entirely too long if I start going into 3D. I couldn't find the folder, so... Just stop it. So there are lots and lots of new buttons. More for us to talk about, more content coming up. It's a new button, select and move button. New new things happening. You can move the buttons. Um, there are, I never figured out how to use these measuring tapes. I will though, and I will do a tutorial on it. Yep, redrape 3D arrangement. Ah, we're gonna try that. Reset the 2D, reset the 3D is now on this side. And like I said, there are lots of new buttons, especially on the 2D side. So um, we'll get at that, and this is the end of this video. Uh, like I said, auto grading, we're gonna give it a whirl. Regular grading, full video. For those who can take longer videos, we'll do it on grading. And that's it, guys. Take care.